What's up? We are live? <coughs> and I am um, a little bit sick, as it turns out. Which is not great. <coughs> My god. We'll get there. Uh, keep up the good work. Also got the tier 8. Nice. Great. Streaming right now if you're interested. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll wait till a few people get here to get started. Um, but what we are going to do for people on YouTube that are watching this <clears throat> is. Hey, it's Chook Sucker. Screw you, man. No. How you doing? Good morning. Or oh, good night to you. One of those two. Uh, is what we're going to do is we're going to do um, our PvP expedition and trials. Get them out of the way and then we'll start doing capture rate stuff. Uh, we do have full raid and full energy because I basically didn't play yesterday very much at all. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to be clearing my throat a bit so I apologize about that. Uh, but there's not a hell of a lot I can do about that unfortunately. Alright, let's, we already have item fine on so let's get these done and get them out of the way. Uh, we have like two days. Two days left until we can um, get that bow mythic from Expedition, so let's hope and pray that that happens. I uh, got two mythics farming regen today, Basalt and Vile, focus today, you, sh you sound like hell, get well soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't sound, sound great. Um, nice, nice, Basalt will help you with your tank thing quite a lot, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, I really want the bow, obviously, and then I want, um, I want, what's it called? Melvin Head? From Trials Gauntlet, just because it looks cool. <clears throat> I just want it for the cosmetics. Because I think that's a tank thing as well. Uh, Merciless? Yeah, we all need Merciless. That's very true. Very, very true. <clears throat> my god. Um, my Twitch overlay doesn't seem to be working. Like, it says it's... Oh, no, it's just updated. It said there was no, no people watching, but that's clearly a lie. Alright, let's do 680. Um, everyone, we had a chat in, the, in Discord yesterday actually about this and people were like trials is easy gauntlet's the hard one i'm like i'm the complete opposite i struggle with trials a lot and gauntlet i shit in it so i don't know why i'm different to everybody else um i mean i'm different to most people in a lot of ways but in as far as game in this game goes uh i don't know why i, I struggle with trials but in gauntlet i'm fine I'm not too sure don't know um Got the Merciless Spear earlier this week, what the rest now? Awesome. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I was considering, like, if I got that, upgrading that instead of the, the gun and stuff, but it itself, in itself, doesn't have that, like, great skills, but the set itself is really good. So, yeah, I think it's only probably worth doing, um, because you've got, you got the gun now, right? <coughs> you got the Arsenal gun? Nice, it's really good. It's really good. It looks like I'm so sick of it, but it's like it's actually a really good weapon. Um, I'm here. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, yeah, we went out last night for um, my best friend's birthday, did trivia and, and stuff. Thank you for the follow. Is that, that seems to be working? That overlay seems to be working? <clears throat> Should be a zombie running at the top of the screen. Pretty cool. Anyway, we went out and... Uh, it was really cold because it's winter here and then I didn't sleep well and I think I didn't have the covers on properly and stuff so I've woken up a bit worse for wear <clears throat> but uh, hopefully I come good I got a bit of a headache and, and stuff as well and then Camille um, has taken the day off work sick so I think both of us just had a rough night I think uh, or maybe we picked something up from the, the bar last night I don't know either way we'll be fine um, you know how I was farming for cosmetic helm? Well, gave up and did my first 6 to 85 trial of, gaunt uh, of trial gauntlet and plus 5 Bobo and Walkham and I rolled the place like, yeah, of course you did, plus 5 OP and you're full TS. <clears throat> if I get full TS, like if I get the bow or upgrade um, up to this gun or something, then it'll be a lot easier. But just trials in general, I always struggle with. Um, Lola Master, okay, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, all the different names, man, I, I can't keep up. <clears throat> so, I've, I've mentioned this before, if I forget who someone is, it's not because I'm being a jerk, it's just because there's too many names. And then when people have different names, it's just, 
that shits the bed, and I got no idea what's going on. Um, but good to see. Um, yeah, everyone's getting stuff, so it must be my turn. Now, in um, the last two days, I think, I've had maybe three, definitely two, maybe three duo bombs show up for persuasion, and all of them have said no. So the way I see that is I'm getting all my bad RNG out of the way. So when I stream, it'll come up for uh, persuasion and we'll get it. That's of course the opposite of what will happen. Um, but that's what I hope will happen. So, you know, if we get a duo bomb to come up for persuasion today, um, then we should nab it. <clears throat> because uh, all the ones that came up recently, I haven't got. So that that's how it works, right? It's definitely how it works. Okay, well, we seem to be doing better with this trial. Um, manualing always makes things easier, but I hate it. So, I would say, depending on the boss, I can do it fairly consistently if, if I um, manual it. But it's just, it's balls. <coughs> um, we all forget because brains be goofs. What do you think is better? Diadem or Zaz Wings? Um, I am really bad with names of stuff. So I don't know. That Diadem's the, the floating crown thing, right? Uh, which has a bit of all the stats, if I'm not mistaken. And the Zaz wings, I think, might be those blue and yellow shiny wings, which also have a bit of everything, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, a grass. <laughs> um, streaming, if you want to come. And say oh, the chat lag on on stream on um not stream on Steam is like next level. Okay, well we can just auto from here. Thank you for the follow, <coughs> Xthor, thirty three the Teddy. It's a good name actually. I like it. Um, I'm wondering how long it would take me to get multiple pieces of Merciless from Trial Gauntlet because it always seems to drop like uh, rate sucks in Trials Gauntlet. It does. Uh, what happened? <laughs> you got it. Oxler Roth. <clears throat> okay. okay, let's get this out of the way. Oh my god. <clears throat> it just won't clear. <clears throat> um... Hey Teddy, X door Teddy, what's going on? Oh, it's a big heart, I like it. Uh, I logged on and third run in tr uh, tier eight raid, I got Comet Fall. Oh, nice, it's really good. Comet Fall's pretty good. I mean, Quad Strike, oh, I forgot, we're not autoing this. Um, quad Strike is a bit eh, because the, the proc rate is so low and you can't really stack it because no gear has Quad Strike on it. <clears throat> so like I'm nearly 40% Jewel Strike because it's somewhat attainable. Uh, like it's you know like in power and everything else uh but quad strike there's just no, no gear on it so it's not that great um but it is also a lot more powerful so you wouldn't be able to stack 40 percent quad strike otherwise it would be ridic ridiculous but if you could get up to like 15 percent or something it might be worth it but i think i think the max you can get if you had every single thing with quad strike on it i think the max still might only be like five percent or something so um and I, th I think, uh, and I'm living room with the girlfriend watching some Star Trek. Nice one. Apart from <laughs> Star Trek. Uh, fuck. Because it sucks. Us. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. I'm gonna go have fun. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see what he said. I'll check it later. <clears throat> um... I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Comet Fell. It's only got 1% quad strike, right? I think. Pretty sure. So yeah, it, it, like if it procs, then hot damn. Uh, especially if you've got like other things like um, Empower or, or whatnot. Uh, it's really good. But yeah, you can't stack it. So it's like, it's eh. Uh, I still need Oxaroth scam. You don't need it, man. You got past five Bob uh, Bobadon. You don't need it. You don't, pretty much don't need anything. Um, cause he's like stupid to, uh, stable, right? You need five Oxler, which is just 
just give up right there. And then you need five um, Astaroth as well, which is a, dun uh, a raid boss. So it's just not worth it. I was really pissed off actually when I finally got him because I, I've been trying for two years to get him because I, I just wanted him as my main tank. <clears throat> and I realized I'm not going to stable him, but back then stabling only gave you like a little bit extra TS and it wasn't that big of a deal. I got him, two weeks later the new content came out with augments and now like stabling everything is super super like um, like meta and stuff and you need to do it. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, I spent all this time getting Oxler and now I, uh, Oxler, oh, sorry, and now I have him and he's shit. <laughs> It was super disheartening. It's like I, two two years of a mission completed uh, for two weeks. It was good. Yeah, it kind of sucked. Um, I thought you might have gotten it with Bubgore and the five baskets I ran to catch two shades this week to help finish five, plus five. My God, have more fams. Um, I still need any leg schematic. Really? That seems crazy. That seems super crazy. N not one leg schematic um, for anything. That that seems absurd. I mean, I I, I can get it. I, I I can understand like not getting one you want, like trying for ages to get like the Wembo one or something. But just to have none, no tier nine, a uh, tier nine no leg fam. Wow, you're doing well there, man. Although with the augments and stuff, it makes it a bit easier. Because you can just plus five, like, um, <clears throat> you know, Remy T or, or, or whatever, and, and get get through. Um, but yeah, if you can plus five a, a Legendary, that's where it's at. I mean, Bobadom isn't the best choice. Like, he's not the best tank out there by, by a fair margin. But for free to play and for convenience of easiness of stabling, he's really good. Because... He doesn't take, it's not hard to stable him compared to other fans. Um, and if you're free to play and you don't want to sink money in and stuff, um, you want the easiest stuff you can you can possibly get because you want to be able to do what you can do. So that's why Bob and I'm good. That's just the way it is. I've had enough of manual. Should be able to get it done. Easy. Easy. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Alright. We'll get to, um... We'll get to capture it soon. Just got some expedition to do. And these won't take very long because we can auto this. Uh, how do you think, how long do you think it would take, uh, considered, um, I need 220 hobbit feet and about to make velks for tall lag and then the healer you walk around with. Walk them. I don't remember in the head other name. Uh, I wouldn't even bother with because he's a mythic, you won't be able to, um, stable him either so it's pointless also if you need 220 hobbit feet a long time but yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't even bother man like don't it's it's a waste i'll go i'll we'll go into the world schematic in a sec <clears throat> uh the main thing is to get one tank and one um healer and then start trying to um, stable them, but get one to start with. It took me like eight weeks to get enough Hobbit feet to make seven walk That's That's pretty damn quick. <clears throat> I would think. Oh, stable, what am I doing? Fusion. Oh, I can't do it in dungeon. Well, fuck you, game. Uh, we'll have a look after. Remind me if I forget. Hobbit feet are a pain in the ass because you can't get them via um, item find. They're just, like, they're kind of like um, the robot sprockets. Like, they just show up like you can get, just get them every once in a while so you can't really the only way to farm for them is to do a buttload of um well bust so you know if you have like a bub gore or something and you go well bust you're going to get the same uh hypothetically get the same percentage of hobbit feet as what you would going in with zero item point so they're kind of hard to get because you can't reliably farm them the only way yeah is to just do a bunch of well bust <clears throat> Uh, might have been 15 weeks. Yeah, that sounds more like, I don't know, man. Like, you, you hit it pretty hard, so it wouldn't surprise me. But, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty hard to get. And, uh, like, the same thing with Zal Quarter. I think it's Demon Hide. Same, same shit. And then, um, in Expeditions, like, the, the, to make fatty, you need bacon. And to make, you know, whatever it is, you need other materials. All that stuff is, um, is pretty low chance of, of just getting, naturally. 
With that hundred item find on world boss, I finally got the tall legs uh, schematic. Nice. So um, the all the hobbit feet I used. Oh no, I've, I've made a few things with hobbit feet actually. I've made. Let's go down. I made. Get rid of this. Um, I made Walkham many times. I made Meaty and I made Yolag. And I think they're all the ones that use Hobbit Feet. Pretty sure they are. So we can go in and have a look at how many they they took each. <clears throat> Where's Velk? Velk's 10, I think. 10 Hobbit Feet. 10 Hobbit Feet times 5. Uh, times 6 because I've made another one. So that's 60. Uh, what else do you need? Where's the schematics? Come on. Okay. Uh, plus another Velk, that's 70. Plus this guy, I think he's 10 each, so that's 80, 90. Um, plus the, the, um, the thing here, so that's like 105. Plus another 20 is 125. And then, yeah, maybe 125 Hobbit feet? I don't know. That, I'm bad at math, so that, that might not be right at all. Um, but it's a lot. Anyway. It's a lot. Your voice sounds different than on you. Yeah, I'm sick at the moment. <laughs> uh, I've, I woke up rough, so I'm not feeling too well. And welcome. Um, Walkham's still worth grinding for? Absolutely. He's great. He's really good. 100%. Go for Walkham, you won't be disappointed. Uh, he's squishy, but he's really good. Um, I like him a lot. Anyway, you can see here that he's got 30% power chance, 0.5% quad strike. Uh, so, you know, all right. But you need a Walkham, and you need a Zolov B, and you need a Torlag to make one. So Torlag is a, uh, both a Walkham and Torlag is a bunch of hobbit feet. And then Zolov B is basically like an Oxlaroth. You need Zol, which is a um, raid boss, and then you need Bully, which is like an Oxler. Um, he's one of those uh, legendary fans that show up once in like every eight or ten to, to ten raids, and they have a stupidly low chance of coming up for persuasion. So to make this is like pretty hard in itself, like really hard in itself. It took me two years to make Oxleroth, which is basically this. Uh, and then you've got to have one of these and one of these to make one of these. And considering you need to stable stuff now, it's just not worth it. Just don't do it. Just keep making walkums, stable that shit. Get a get a tank like Bob and or something, stable that shit. And then you're going to be way better off than making this. It's just, it's not worth it at all. Uh, but yeah, I, I am, I woke up this morning feeling super rough. So my voice is all scratchy. <clears throat> um, Walkums still worth the grind for. Yes. Yeah. Right, Walkham's actually a pain in the ass to, to fuse. Um, because you need 10 Hobbit feet, which is, we just talked about, it's a pain in the ass. And you need two, uh, raid epics, which are hard to get. And then you need some dungeon epics and stuff as well. So he's, his schematic is actually pretty, like, pretty hard for a legendary to make. Like, pretty time consuming. Uh, whereas Bobadom, you need one raid epic and then just some dungeon epics. So it's like way, 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 way easier. Uh, Melborg is really good. Uh, I don't know which one Melborg is. Is that one of the new, um, Melvin world bosses? I think all of the world bosses schematics from, from Melvin's are good. I think they're all, they're all decent. Uh, I haven't got one of them yet. Not one schematic from world boss yet. Uh, I don't know what they do either. I'm not sure which ones, what, what, which, bleh, what each one does. Uh, but I assume there's tanks and healers and DPS and off tanks and all these type of things. Also, the sun is about to rage me, um, but I, I have my hat on in preparation. Um, I spoke to my mother-in-law yesterday, um, and she was talking about, you know, putting blinds up in here soon. So hopefully that happens. Um, it's her house, so I can't really push it on her, so I just have to wait. But blinds would be good. And block out all this sun, evil sun. You actually used me for expedition? Yeah, of course. Uh, Zilf is in the rear. 
So it's you, me, Zill. I'm picking in the middle. I'm getting burned by Zill in the back. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a good raid. Uh, this is a good expedition team. It's pretty good. Uh, I I had Spook in there, but uh, Spook or Zill or whoever doesn't really matter. But you're you're the like the go-to tank of the the guild. All right, capture eight. Do it. Okay, here we go. Also, uh, I was talking to Zach about this. Ooh. And. Uh, considering I'm free to play and I'm not really going to up tier anything, like it, I'm lucky that I can up tier this gun by getting enough um, set pieces and stuff to break down. Uh, but considering I'm not going to be up tiering anything, like these mythics and stuff I have, and next tier I'm just going to be getting whatever the next tier is, whether it's legendaries or whether the raid um, set is a DPS set or anything like that. So basically, once I'm max TS, once I've maxed out all, all the gear I, I need, which is now, I have enough um, crumble to max things out, it's just waiting for the um, expedition to finish, just in case I get the bow, if not, I up tier the gun, and I'm done, as far as TS goes. I don't really need any more crumble, um, so apart from Trials Gauntlet to get Merciless and stuff, um, then I could I could use the crumble to up, upgrade that, but I don't know if that's going to happen, and then, like, I don't know... Um, when the new content's coming out and all that sort of stuff. And then even if I got Merciless, like I said, I'm not going to be up tiering. So the next tier, I'm just going to be using whatever's there. So yeah, I basically don't need any more Crubble anymore because I've got enough to, to max out everything. Which makes me want to just use every day, no matter what the bonus is. So like Sunday, I'm fine. Just use everything to get familiars. So I can max out, try and max out um, Walkham and Bobadom. Because if I don't need Crubble, there's no point doing Raid 7. I can just focus on raid four and raid one and um and just get all those familiars i need so i'm thinking about not doing sunday item vine videos anymore uh and making potentially making thursday and monday videos because monday is 30 percent capture rate so going from thursday um capture rate and sunday item vine to monday capture rate and thursday capture rate um let me know if that's what like if that's something that you would like you don't care whether I change it up uh, or whether you particularly want Sunday Iron Fine or something because I can still do Sunday Iron Fine. Um, it's only one day and I can use all the other six days for, for catching fams and stuff. And then that way I can get Crubble if I want to upgrade something. Um, but I think now that I'm max TS, fams are probably more important. So if you want to see Monday capture rate and Thursday capture rate instead, just until the new content comes out, um, I'd like to hear opinions on that. Um, I have it added T 10 TS. You have what added 10 TS? Um, 21k at tier 8? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know what my TS is right now, but 21k seems a fair bit. Oh, hang on. We were just in right. 27, yeah, shit, yeah. I mean, you should be, if you can do heroic. Um, it doesn't really matter what your TS is, like, as long as you can do heroic, um, consistently, then you're good. And you know, if you can do it at 19k and you've got 21, then you're smashing it. But if you can do it, that's the main thing, right? Um, I think about, thinking about that strategy too, I think I need 7 more, 100 more crumble first. Yeah, because, like, I don't know, if, if you're gonna want to up tier stuff, then smash out as much as you can, because you're gonna need a shitload of crumble, and you're gonna need, um like sets and stuff to break down to get the materials to up tier and everything but i'm not just not I, I can't really up tier i just can't don't have enough materials to do it without putting money into it so up tiering is not really an option um so that's why i was thinking just focus on fans uh stayed up for the stream hey pip how you doing man good to see you very good to see you i haven't seen you much in chat recently in here so Oh no, because you left, you son of a bitch. That's why. <laughs> of course. That's why I haven't seen you. <laughs> In that sense, it's very good to see you. You're at 5-1-1 five, five, uh, five, one, one TS now. Aren't you maxed, though? You max TS, right? Well, it might be because you're level. Oh. Oh, shit. What did I do? Did I, did it, I accidentally off-click? No, we're good. <clears throat> I clicked on OBS and a prompt came up. And I'm like, oh, I better not end the stream. 
So I'm at 5114. So I've got four more TS than you, um, but I need to up tier one, uh, one thing. So I'll get like a bunch of TS from this. But you're level, like you're level 300 and something now, aren't you? Where are you? Almost? So I've got, I've got a bit more TS than over you than I should as far as levels go. So I'm not sure how that's worked. Um, I, I have used quite a few on the shop, like trading in the PVP coins and stuff for stat point. But I'm not sure how I'm that far ahead of you in TS. Like if you're maxed out now and I'm ahead of you by four and then I still have a piece of gear to upgrade as well. And I'm only like 20, 20 levels ahead. I'm not sure how that math works. Uh, been wanting to ask for the longest time, but do you still add people to friends list? Um, I have two slots right now. So yes, I've decided that I'm just going to give away friend slots on, on stream now or in discord if I like, if it's, you know, a, a, I don't know, a Tuesday or something. And it's been a while since a video, like in between videos and I have a, a slot or two. I'll just chuck up on discord. I, I, I threw up, are you in the discord? Uh, Cause I threw up two days ago or something. Maybe it was yesterday that I had some slots if anyone wants them um, and nobody, nobody got onto me. So uh, get on the discord cause people give away friends list all the time. So if you're not on there, it's a really good place to go to get um to get higher level friends and stuff. But yes, I can add you. I've got two slots. So if anyone else there wants a slot as well, um, then you've got it. But only if I can, if, only if you're going to use me in your raid team. Because if you're not going to use me in your raid team, there's no point having someone on your friends list, um, because they just take up space and you could be helping or using someone else. So I've got a bunch of people on my friends list that are like level, you know, 250 to 350, and I'm not going to use them in my raid. And I highly doubt someone at level 350 is going to be <laughs> using me in their raid. So I'm not entirely sure why we're on each other's friends list, apart from chatting. Uh, I do have quite a few people that I chat to fairly regularly. So that's a way to do it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's probably a good 20 people on my friends list there. It's kind of wasted space, effectively. Um, but yeah, if you can use me on, you, you will use me in your raid team. I'm happy to add you when I have a free slot. Um, I've been on Discord, yes, but not so good to use it. Okay, well, if you just jump on and go into the Bit Heroes room um, and say, like, you know, is anyone, can anyone help me with my raid team or something? People, people definitely will. Um, in fact, on the stream right now, people might even chime in to help you. Like, Zill might have some slots or Pip might have some slots to give you as well. I don't know. See, there you go, Pip. What a guy, stepping up. Um, so what, what's your, what's your in-game name? Um, Xthor the Teddy. There you go. You've got me, you've got Pip, you've got, um... Impressive Quest 2, which is still the best name ever. Um, and Zill. So right there, you've got a, a brand new raid team, all level 300 plus, apart from Zill, who will be level 300 by the end of the day. So yeah, what? just just let us know what your um, in-game name is, and we'll all add you. <laughs> no name in any game will ever be better than Impressive Quest 2. It's 100% the best name of all time. Mm. Similar to on that topic, actually, um, apparently there's a competition around the world that anybody can enter. <laughs> anyone can enter in the world. Oh God, it's quite the name. Uh, anyone can enter in the world, no matter who you are. Uh, you can be nominated, anything like that for the most impressive name in the world. So if you've got like a really good normal name, like if your name's John Smith, you're obviously not going to win. But if your name's something awesome, um, you can enter or you can be nominated or something and you win like some award for having the best name in the world. Um, let me just friend, friend this first before I forget. Okay. D-A-N-M-A-R-K, Denmark. Uh, is that a T? T-C-J? I think it's T-C-J. It's hard to read. Friend request sent. There you go. Um... Yeah, so best name in the world. So last year, uh, an AFL footballer, so like Australian football, not like soccer or, or gridiron or anything. Uh, so an Australian footballer by the name of Steel, uh, his name is Steel Sidebottom. That's his name, Steel Sidebottom. So first name Steel, surname Sidebottom. He won it. It's like, it's a pretty impressive name actually, Steel Sidebottom. But I hear it all the time because he's, you know, a, a footballer in, in the media and stuff. So it's probably a little bit like lost on me because I hear it all the time. Um, but the person that came second has the best name in the world, hands down. Her name, no shit, is Charity Beaver. 
This is the best thing. I laughed my sack off when I heard that. Imagine being born as a little girl and your surname's Beaver. I went to a guy, uh, to school with a guy named, um, his surname was Beaver. His name was Daniel. Daniel Beaver. Sounds fine. But your parents, to call you Charity Beaver? <laughs> it's just the best thing. <laughs> you knew someone, uh, someone named Graves Von Rad? There you go. Add that dude to the list. Nominate him. Graves Von Rad. That's a cool name. It's a rad name. But Charity Beaver, that got me, man. That got me real hard. Uh, one of my friends from school, one of my best friends from school. Um, hey, congrats, well, it's awesome. I don't know what it is, but any set is a good set, right? Um, yeah, a, a guy from school, uh, a good friend of mine from school. His sister used to do babysitting, and um, she babysit for the Dicky family. And as soon as you hear the Dicky, like as a surname, you're like, oh god, <laughs> what's gonna happen? What's their name? And they named their daughter Ophelia. Ophelia Dicky. What is wrong with people? That that should be nominated. Ophelia Dicky. It's pretty pretty bad. But Charity Beaver takes the cake. I, I don't know. That's the best name I've ever heard. <clears throat> oh, is that the Merciless set? Oh, then even better. That's awesome. I thought it might have been just one of the um expedition like tank sets or something. I like I said, I don't know the names of things. But that's that's really fucking good then. Holy shit. Nice. Merciless ring. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I haven't got anything from um, 680 yet. I've been doing it for a while too, probably about a month. Uh, haven't got haven't got a drop yet. Or a mythic or a set or... I don't even think I've got a legendary to be honest. Um, what you were saying before, Zill, like, Trials Gauntlet seems to have the lowest drop rate. I don't know why. Maybe it's only because you, you, you can only do like two and then you have to wait a couple of hours and you do another two. Whereas raids you can knock out like, well... For Iconic, we can knock out 9, and World Boss, you knock out, like, 20 or something. Um, so Trial Gauntlet is is kind of like a less... You, you don't do as many of them, so it feels like you're not getting as many, uh, as many loots. I don't know, but it definitely seems lower, doesn't it? Why are you doing 685? Why are you stepping up an extra 5, just to be cool? You got, you've got you been doing it for 2 days and got Basalt, so my RNG is dead in these now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess Bub got OP, right? Oh man, I'm really happy you got the, the two set. That's awesome. What is the two set? Who who has There you go. Friend friend request accepted. Yeah, 200. You probably use this, so that's good. Uh who has merciless set running around? I wanna see the thing. I wanna see the stats. You? No. Well you're level 185. You're not gonna have it, most likely. Uh bubble? No, your tank. We're gonna find someone with it. Pros. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> So, uh, damage increased by 5% when using a spear is the two set. So, if you wanted to swap up, well, you got 5% while using a spear, which is pretty good. Uh, skills. Weakest enemy 1 SP is pretty damn good, because you can just smash out, like, the lowest HP person and just destroy them at all times. Because the spear, normally the 1 SP spear move is to hit the back target. So this is, hit like, the lowest HP target. That's actually pretty damn good. But, um, and the auto attack deals closest damage attacks two times. So your auto attack is not... Oh no, it's not bad because normal auto attacks hit the closest target anyway. But this attacks twice, so that's actually pretty good. This is really good. Um, this is strongest, so you can either go weakest or strongest. Actually, this... this J? J Shoes? Thank you for the, uh, for the follow. This is actually pretty good as well. So you can pick uh, the weakest or the strongest. So if you want to like smash down the tank or something, you can. Or smash down like a weak healer or something, you can. Oh, uh, uh, not a weak healer, a uh, low HP healer. Uh, furthest enemy, but a absolute shit ton of damage, 2 SP. Um, and then you've got target enemy, 2 SP. So yeah, pretty good actually, but not brilliant, uh, brilliant, brilliant for me with the amount of dual strike I've got. Uh, my voices seem to come good as well, which is nice. Well, not good, but better. Um, yeah, the, the, with the dual strike, not as good, whereas uh, the gun I have right now has um, attacked two times, so that uh, target, so that's like dual strike proc, that's four hits, and this dual strike proc, that's eight hits, so this is really, really good for proccing pets. 
so healing people or something or if you've got attack pet whatever pet you've got this is really good for that so with the amount of jewel strike i've got that procs a lot and sometimes the animation takes like two seconds to hit everybody it's pretty great and then my jewel strike is 37.4 which is really damn high like all my other stats are absolutely nothing literally nothing um but 37.4 in um jewel strike is it's pretty damn tasty so now if we can find some with an abhorrence or the, the, the mythic bow i don't know everyone jokes about its name so i'm not 100 sure what its name is these days have you got abhorrence 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 you do okay sweet so this has one percent jewel strike on it which is not only is the bow great in itself the skills and stuff that gives me an extra jewel strike so fuck yes but the skills are really good um just auto attack is auto attack deals uh target enemy attacks three times so if i can target enemy and proc six hits like that dude's dead so that's real that like holy shit that's good spread shield teammate uh for this i i don't know if jewel strike would proc that but if it does then i spread shield teammates for like double that it's pretty good uh and then i can hit furthest enemy and uh i can drain health from all enemies but this is the one right target enemy hits six times effectively that's really good man it's not going to be as good as um to proc the pet as as much as the gun is with hitting all targets but hitting someone that you can choose six times yeah it's pretty tasty um i don't know wrestle with the spear or my bow i go back and forth on which is best you got abhorrence as well right it, it all depends but aren't you going tank now aren't you full full tank gear Yeah, so put Basalt on and you're fucking destroying it, man. If you can get Twitch next expedition, Twitch comes around. You change your um, accessories and enchants and runes around to tank. You, you got, you know, the best... Uh, effectively, the best tank um, set at the moment. Or, you know, one of the best tank sets at the moment. Congrats. Um, yeah, so if, you, if you're going to go tank, Basalt is, is, is great. Um, I had someone with full merciless on my raid team until a couple of weeks ago. They changed their build and went for uh, went far worse with my team build, even though it was still DPS. Yeah, that sucks when that happens. Um, people change all, on my list all the time. Uh, Rev me up, who's currently my front front tank right now. He's been DPS for the longest amount of time. He's gone back to tank. Um, who did I have? Triple dot changed his um, changed his stamina lower than what it was eagle put his stamina higher than what it was so then like he wasn't my bait anymore and it just throws things out of whack uh if you don't really pay attention when you go to raid you just like do it um it can definitely like just waste a raid charge you're like what the hell why did everyone die so yeah but i'm i'm fortunate in the fact that i've got some backups um so if shit does go wrong i can kind of use other people which is nice but yeah it is it is really annoying when that happens i absolutely agree um i'm full tank but i'm looking for merciless i have awesome enchant and good not great runes and a leg accessory need a pet if i want to go tank iso welcome um hang on i have awesome enchant for tanking good but not great runes uh but you have a legendary accessory but you need a pet well if you've got a legendary defensive accessory why aren't you using it now because you, you're wearing the tank set or you just want to be you want to be a dps but in tanky gear is that what's happening until you get merciless <clears throat> i'm doing dps work <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, fuck it got cold man hang on i'm just gonna put a, a jumper on. jacket sweater i don't know whatever you call it hoodie everyone everyone uses hoodie right hoodie's a, a worldwide thing like a like a jumper sweater whatever it is but with a hood on it pretty sure hoodies like a, a worldwide thing this one's really good too because it's got um this is like my holy shit it's cold hoodie because it's got all fur on the inside like fake fur cost like i don't know 15 dollars oh my god where's the arm cost like 15 bucks or something from it was either target or kmart or something like that it's cheap as hell and it's not you know the best thing in the world and it doesn't look Per, like perfect or, or great or anything but it's warm and that's the main thing like you wear it at home you don't wear it out um so chaos is now my main tank 
<clears throat> so I should push him first. See, people keep swapping. But Proz always stays DPS, so that's great. Like, Eagle was uh, like 1100 stamina. So he was my bait through and through, but now he's chained. And then that way, as well, if I go um, capture 8 every day, uh, it doesn't really matter what my raid team is. I might be able to tip. I might be able to do raid 4 on my own. Uh, I could definitely. Mm, can't say definitely, but I, I probably could do it with familiars. We could try it. Um, it's kind of a waste of a, a, a raid shot if I can't do it there. Um, how's it going? It is going well. It's really hard to read your name because it's dark blue. Uh, DPS accessory and DPS pet on right now. Okay. Aaron, how you doing? Are you working? I sent you a message before, um, but then I started streaming, so I'm not sure if you replied on that. Um, silver too. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so how are you gold, Ben? You're trash league. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, I asked the question before uh, about if you, if you guys like wanted to do two capture eight days a week or whether you wanted me to keep um, Sunday on a find. And if you answered, I didn't read it. So can, can people let me know their views on that, please? No, dude, you, you destroy me now because I haven't played in forever. I'm just giving you shit. Do you do you still main um Yes yeah, though? Is that like your main dude? I replied to you, I'm sick at the moment, so next weekend will be better. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you're sick. Two catch rate is cool. Alright. That's one vote in. Two capture rate day is good, if that's what works best for your goals. Yeah, it works best for my goals, um, but ultimately I'm here to entertain, right? Or try to entertain. So I'll always put the people's vote ahead of mine. So it doesn't really, doesn't really bother me. Like, oh, that was some hits. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really bother me too much. Like making content and hanging out and stuff is fun. But I think just focusing on fans is probably better for me. I mean, yes. Filthy, filthy man. Uh, don't care what or when you stream, I'll be watching. Oh, that's very nice. Where are you from again? Because, like, we were talking about time differences and stuff yesterday. And who can make streams and who can't and all the rest of it. I gotta run. I can't listen, anyhow. Okay, man. Have fun with your Star Trek. Somehow, have fun with your Star Trek. Um, you can't hear me, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll just write see ya. IQ2. There we go. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Whatever you do, we shall watch and enjoy. Yeah, you're very nice. All of you are very nice. From America. Okay, yeah, the, the people in the US seem to be able to, to join fairly decently, which is good. Um, so I just need to keep my streaming times similar. And then that way we can we can all hang out and stuff. I've got a mad headache. <clears throat> I don't know why. It's, we both just woke up feeling like shit. <laughs> Olaf. Oh yeah, I forgot he existed. I was thinking about League earlier because I'm like, oh god, I'm getting pressured into playing and stuff. And I remembered all these cool chat because I was trying to remember who I played and I played everybody because I got sick of playing the same champions over and over again and it just bores me to play the same thing over and over again. Um, so I kind of played everybody, but then I just like champions that I really liked just popped into my head. Like I remembered a Moomoo was a thing and I'm like, oh, Moomoo was great. And then I remembered Ramus, and I, I just tried to think of all the like the jungle fans that I used to use and how freaking good they were. Hecarim. Like I'm just like, oh, all these champs were so freaking fun. Um, so, yeah, but I, uh, I get bored playing the same champ over and over again. Vi, Vi was another good one. I uh, got camped by Vi, dived under the tower, level 3, twice. Perfect. Play League today. I can't play League today. Uh, I've got to go to the dentist today, um, which is going to suck balls. No one wants to go to the dentist. Uh, curse you for being on the other end of the planet, making me stay up later than my old man time of APM. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> hey, Zach. Welcome. Um, I will, I will play League because you guys are assholes. Um, but I don't know when. Maybe, maybe, 
this afternoon. I don't know. I got my dentist appointment is smack bang in the middle of my time off. So like I'll stream, you know, for another 40 minutes or something, however long it takes to get through all this stuff, which will take me roughly to, you know, almost lunchtime. And then my dentist appointments at 2.30, 2.45, not 2.30 because my tooth hurty. So 2.45. So that's like right in the middle of the day effectively and then by the time i get home and everything it'll be like i don't know after four o'clock i guess and then like the day's basically done and then i've got my uh, brother and one of my really good friends coming over at like 5 30. so yeah it's kind of just smack bang in the middle being a bit like a bit of a dick time so i don't think i'll be able to play league today because um, i only have like a little bit here and there, and I also need to like just rest up and stuff. Um, yeah, dentist is the worst. It's pretty bad, and I've got really bad teeth as well because of all the um, steroids and stuff I took as a kid for asthma to keep me alive in that. So one of the one of the um, side effects was my teeth just are not good. So yeah, I need to go to the dentist really badly because um, when I was having the TMS treatment like it it shakes your head around because it's you know, violent pretty violent and stuff and one of my teeth like started hurting like a lot every time I had it it was just a lot of pain like a lot of nerve pain so I don't know something's happened so I need to go get it checked out I've been all-nighter because it's way too hot for me to sleep okay so yeah complete opposite it's freezing here so I have to stay up for school then I mostly try and sleep when the weekend starts later today man going to school on no sleep is rough I went to the dentist to get two, two teeth pulled out today. Oh shit, it's the day for the dentist. And two teeth pulled out, that's rough. Sorry to hear that. Uh, I got a... Um, what are they called? Root canal. The, like, the really brutal, expensive thing. Teeth, tooth replacement, effectively. Done like two years ago, and it still hurts. So they fucked it up. So when I go back there today, I'm going to be like, Oi, this still hurts, fix it. Um, show us the damage to your hair, aka your haircut. I would, um, I put a photo up on, on Discord, but if I take my, um, so I've got a hat on to block out the sun, which is seem to have gone. Then I've got my headphones on, then I've got my chicken hat on. So to take off all of that and then put it all back on is a giant pain in the ass. So if I was, if I wasn't wearing the hat, I would do it. I'd show you, but it's like, it's a triple layer thing and I just cannot be bothered doing it again. Um, but I did put a photo up on Discord, so if you're that keen, you can go look at it there, I guess. Also, um, I haven't done my hair today. I just got out of the shower and put this on, so probably just looks flat as, flat as hell. Well, I'll tell you what, this is pretty shit. <laughs> I, um, I got two duo bombs in the last, two or three duo bombs in the last few days. Pop up. Uh, and then I got a, one of the, the Raid 7 fams pop up as well. And then on capture rate day, of course, because that's how the game works, um, nothing pops up. It's a bit of a ball sack. Uh, after this, we'll do dungeons and we'll try and go for a Nos Dudu. So that's what's, uh, that's what's next. Uh, Kez, what's up? I just saw you were live and I thought I'd pop in and uh, say glad you're streaming. Try and pop back in later. All right. Thank you. Kind words. Um, we'll probably be going for, well, however long it takes to get through this dungeon and then max um energy of uh this raid sorry and then max energy of dungeons so i don't know maybe another maybe half an hour i'm not too sure however long it takes uh and then i'll be out of um like natural regen and stuff so we'll call it quits then so yeah if you around if you can come back in a little bit we'll still be here um i will thank you uh I'll, next stream will probably be um, maybe tomorrow morning we'll do some more, um, Super Mario RPG. So, if that sounds like a good time, you can join in then. On that topic, actually, uh, so, what I normally do, uh, is stream, and then it goes up onto Twitch. And then I download that from Twitch, and then I, you know, encode it and stuff, and then I upload it to YouTube. Because you can directly upload from YouTube to YouTube, but then you, like, it's just the raw footage, you can't, like do anything with it uh so i generally download it encode it and you know do any editing or something i need to do and then upload it and it's worked fine every every single time but because because yesterday's stream was a monster and it was like seven hours or something 
Um, for whatever reason, it's downloading at like 200 kilobytes a second. And I've got like 80 megabit download. Um, so like, it's just, yeah, I don't know what's happened, but it's downloading so freaking slow. And it's got an estimate of like 19 hours or something to download it. So maybe there's like a time cut off. Like if you streamed under four hours or something, it downloads quickly. But if it's over, it downloads really slowly. I have no idea. Uh, Cause I was, I wanted to put some, I was going to break it up into three different episodes, like two hour episodes or something. Uh, and I was going to publish one today, but it just won't download. So I don't know what's going on with that. So today I am streaming and recording at the same time and seeing if that works. So if that works, then I can just like do everything with the recording that I've got, which is much, much easier. Uh, but I didn't want to push my PC with streaming and recording. But I guess if it's Beat Heroes or, or Super Nintendo, like it's not going to matter because it's like it's pretty low key stuff. Blood jaw. Congrats. Getting all the things as usual. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm trying to download the Super Mario RPG stream and like edit it into different episodes and stuff, but it's just not working. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, you'll be here. Awesome. League stream tomorrow. Um, maybe. We, we, we were going to do Super Mario RPG because we're almost finished. It'll be the last stream of that tomorrow. So I think what I'll do... No, this is what we'll do. We'll finish Super Mario RPG, hopefully tomorrow. Like, hopefully. I can't I can't guarantee it, but hopefully. Uh, then that that's done. And that that um that playthrough is through, effectively. And then that opens us up to play something else. Uh, so we were gonna do big blast big bass black bass fishing bass for Zill. We're gonna probably do like half an hour or something of that. And then maybe we can do some league after that or something on the next stream, like on Monday or something like that. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll do League tomorrow, but the stream after that, we'll do it. Uh, so we, yeah, we may as well finish what we're doing to start with. And then I can't really do much else until I get the new computer. Uh, so, you know, we'll probably do maybe some League or maybe some other Super Nintendo games or something like that until the new computer. And then I can stream whatever the hell I want which I'm super, super looking forward to. Uh, just need to get that cash monies. If we go this whole stream without one thing coming up for persuasion on capture rate day, that's, that's pretty lame. I need two more hobbit feet. Ah, that, that won't take too long. If you need like, you know, 220, um, that was said before, it's going to take a while Two. Yeah, you'll get it. Probably by the end of the day. I only need two. So, oh, so yeah, for um the Mario stream tomorrow, um we just need to grind out some levels, which I was gonna do. I was gonna do off camera, like off stream. I was just gonna grind out the levels, and then uh, you know we do the final boss and stuff. But everyone wants to see the grinding, which is odd. It sounds odd to me. But I guess that kind of makes sense, because if I did all the grinds and then we st started the stream and it was the last boss, like, the stream would be over in, like, 10 minutes or something. Uh, well, the game would be over in 10 minutes. So I guess it kind of makes sense to, you know, just grind out stuff and just talk shit the whole time. So. Uh, did you make it to Smithy? I don't know, because I'm, like, I've never played it before. But we, we beat the sword thing with the eyes. And then we went through some pain in the ass um, platforming place. And then we got to like a factory and we beat like three different colored, like shovel knight looking dudes. You wanted to see the, the, well, you can see when it goes up on YouTube, if it ever downloads, uh, has anyone ever encountered that problem with, with streaming or something, downloading like a giant stream and it just takes forever. But the, all the other streams I've ever downloaded, like this one for today, for instance, I, I don't know, maybe like something's happened to my internet or something but normally this would download in like 10 minutes and then i could just uh, encode it put my um, intro and outro and you know if i needed to do any other editing or something uh encode it which takes about an hour encoding is the, the longest thing and then upload it which takes like 10 minutes now with good internet and then it's done 
So I knew like a seven hour stream was going to take longer to download. You know, um, I was like, oh, okay, it might take like an hour, an hour and a half or something, maybe two, it's fine. And then encoding, it's going to take ages, probably going to take two hours to encode it. And then upload, it might take like, I don't know, an hour, say. So all up, for like five hours, maybe. Uh, and I was prepared to do that because you just, you just press download, you walk away, you come back a couple of hours later, you put it all in the um, editing software and code it, do that, come back an hour, a couple of hours later, uh, upload, chuck it in, come back a couple of hours later, it's done. So it's not like you sit there for five hours. Uh, but I put the download on overnight, got up and it's only like 30% downloaded. I'm like, what the, why? Why? Because everything else downloads in like 10 minutes. Why is this taking 19 hours? So I don't know. So yeah, it, it'll be on the stream, um, but when I can download it, however long it takes to download. So I really don't know why that's happening. If anyone has some knowledge of why that's the case, um, let me know. The only reason I can think of is because it's, it's such a big file, but I don't know why it being such a big file would make it download slower. That doesn't really make any sense. So yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm hoping it's just a one-off for that reason. And so whenever I do other streams and stuff that are shorter, I can still download it quickly because it's like, it's slower speed than my old house, but I have 80 megabit download. So I, it, eh, it makes no sense. I'm really, I'm actually really pissed off about it. Um, and if that is the case, then I either have to record and stream at the same time, which is what I'm testing out now. Uh, because if I want to go download this from Twitch, which I'll try to do, if it's going to be another, you know, 10 hours to do it or something, then I'm just going to have to record and stream at the same time, which is going to put a lot of pressure on my PC. Um, or stream for a shorter amount of time. So like maybe seven, seven hours is too long. Maybe there's like a, maybe around the four or five hour mark or something. But there's going to be days where I want to stream all day. So I don't know what the answer is, but it's, it's a pain in my heart. So yeah, once I finally do download it, um, because I didn't record it, so I'm, I'm, that's why I'm testing it now, uh, I'll have to break it up into th like three episodes or something of, I don't know, maybe an hour and 45 minutes each or, or no, if it's three episodes, it would be like two and two hours and 20 minutes each or something, which is still a really long video um, because I don't want to put a seven hour video up. Like no, no one's going to sit there for seven hours and watch a video uh, in, in a hit type thing. So two hours is probably better. I could do it um into our episodes but then i would have to publish it across seven days uh, and that's going to take forever or i could break it up into our episodes and then just upload them all at one time and so the all the stream is up at the same time but it's in seven seven different episodes that people can pick and choose when they want to when they want to watch maybe that's better putting seven different videos up on at the same time and then that way they're all up there and you can just choose to watch it whenever you want that's probably the better way to do it that's more work um, going in and, and editing hour long thing and then, you know, color, uh, coloring that off and then doing the next one and stuff, but that's probably the best way to do it. Hey man, how you doing? Uh, I hope my day is going well so far. Uh, I woke up not feeling great and a bit sick and stuff. My voice has come back a little bit now, which is good. Um, but yeah, had a rough night and Camille too, she's taken the day off work. So we're both feeling a bit crappy today. Um, and I was just saying I've got to go to the dentist in a few hours. So yeah, not, not the best day, <laughs> um, but you know, it's just another day, I guess. And I'm tipping when I go to the dentist, it's going to be like a consultate because this is how they get money, right? Apart from the dentist just being stupidly expensive anyway. Um, I'll go there, have a consultation. They'll be like, yeah, you need to come back for a filling or you need to come back for this or you need to come back for that. So they won't do it on the day. You, they go in there, they get the consultation, which is like, X amount of money, like a hundred and something dollars probably. And then like, yeah, I need to come back for this, which is going to cost another X amount of hundred dollars. It's just like, you, you can see it. I go in for the consultation. You can see it right now. Just do it right now and save me some money. But they're bastards and they don't do that. Which is frustrating. Um, Cause yeah, we don't have the money to go to the dentist, but it's something I really need to do because it hurts like shit. I forgot to put the light on. I was wondering why it was kind of dark in here. But at least the um, 
light coming from inside, outside, sorry, is uh, bright, uh, bleh, brightening up the webcam enough. But the, the room itself is quite dark. I don't know how I forgot to do it. Oh shit, we finally got a thing. I mean, you know, we'll take it because we still need this thing, but I really wanted the duo bombs. All right, let's see. Uh, screw you, buddy. Oh, uh, look, we got we got a persuasion chance on capture eight success, right? That's it. That's how we measure it. As long as you get one on, while while recording or, or streaming or whatever it is on camera, then you call it a success. But that's pretty lame. So I'll show when we unlock it. Uh, we'll show when I get out of here. How close I am to um, Bob and stuff. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting photos of t-shirts from my mother-in-law and uh, I don't know what she's doing, but they're coming through on my phone. So she's obviously somewhere and like, do you want these? <clears throat> and I can't reply. So that's good. F uh, familiars. Okay, here we go. F well, we don't need to f go to fusion because we, we know what, what the schematic is, right? So I've got... I've got... Uh, one blobber, he's done. And I got one yobbo, he's done. And I need the nos doodoo to make a nos dom dom, and then he's done. And then we just need a Ragnar to fuse him into this. So you need you need the Ragnar and the blubber to make a blag blagnar. Sure. And then you just need the Nos Dudu and the um, Yobbe. And then you can make a, a um, Bobadom. Right? So the only dungeon boss we need to plus three Bobadom is Nos Dudu. Then we need to do um, Nos Dudu, Yeti, and Blubber again twice. To get like five of them effectively. So we can plus five it. And then we just need more um, Ragnars. So effectively we need three more Nos Dudu, two more Yetis. Two more blubbers and three ragnars, and we've got plus five bobadum. So not too bad. Uh, and as we've talked about in length in previous videos and streams and stuff, dungeon bosses aren't that bad. Um, they come up for persuasion fairly regularly. It's still like a low chance to get them with gold, but they come up a lot. So you're going to get them quicker than what you're going to get raid raid dun um, raid epics. So raid epics we need three. Dungeon epics we need seven. So on that kind of basis, on that, that comparison, we should get the dungeon epics before the raid epics. Um, especially considering we're not going to go to raid one until we get the duo bombs. So we need to get the duo bombs first before we even go to raid one. So yeah, I think we'll most likely uh, get the dungeon bosses before, before the raid bosses. And then we'll just do a bunch of raid one until we get three Ragnars. And then from there, we have a plus five Bobadom and a plus, plus five uh, Walkum. And we're pretty much done for tank and uh, tank and healer for all Trials Gauntlet and flags and everything in the future. Unless they then change it and then they make it the plus seven or I don't know, but that, that's a pain in the ass. Let, let's just hope that that's the case. Uh, then we can work on something else. And I think I want to work on Fatty because I really like Fatty and he's, he's, um, he's pretty good as well. Which means that we're just going to be doing an arse load of Yeti's, Yeti's dungeon. And Yeti's my favorite familiar um, in the whole game. So that works for me. But the plus five in we would need 25 Yetis, which is a lot of Yetis. Um, got to head to bed. Catch that worm. All right, thanks man. I appreciate you being here. Have a good sleep. Have a better sleep than I did. And uh, we'll see you see you later. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. Whenever you can. So yeah, Bobadom's not that far away. Uh, and Walkham is one familiar away. So we're not we're not too far off, which is good. Um, so had I have just focused on stabling uh, them both way earlier. I probably would have been had them done by now, but back in the day stabling wasn't as important. So like if you stabled Bobadom from like if you just had a Bobadom and you stabled him from zero to one, 
you'd get like a bunch of TS, like 50 TS or 100 TS or something. Uh, like stats for, for him. So it wasn't like that important. For the pain in the ass it was. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, I have it, I've had like eight familiars in a row come up um, that just haven't been caught. Three of which were raids. So on a pretty bad luck streak, I guess. Uh, yeah, so back in the day, uh, before augments and stuff, stabling wasn't really that important. It was just like, well, I've done everything else. I may as well stable some stuff and, to, you know, make them a bit stronger. Um, but it wasn't really that much stronger. Uh, I mean, it was it was stronger, but it wasn't, it wasn't as important, like anywhere near as important. But now with augments and there's um, stacking and everything of that, uh, it's pretty damn important. So had I focused on it earlier, they probably would have been done by now. But yeah, they weren't as important, so I didn't really care. But you never know what the devs are going to do, so you can't really predict that stuff. You know, they, they, they could. They could just come out and go next tier. They'd be like, you know what? We're putting um, familiars up to plus 10. Which would absolutely fucking suck. Um, because, you know, free to play just got no chance to get plus 10. It would take forever. I mean, it's taking forever just to get plus 5s. Uh, but they could, they could do that. Who knows? Who knows what, who knows what they're going to do? <laughs> it's a good worm. I like it. <laughs> it's like the world serpent from, um, God of War. Just, I really need to, that's the other thing. Apart from streaming, like, Mario Maker, uh, Mario Maker, Super Mario RPG, and this, and then if we get into League and all the rest of it, I need to finish my God of War, um, series. I think we're pretty close to the end as well. Um, uh, because... From, got to catch them all, from then, um, all my Let's Play stuff will be streams, and then I'll just edit them into, like, hour-long videos and put them up on YouTube, because I can't really afford time to stream, um, a Let's Play, and then record a Let's Play, as well as streaming, um, like, Bit Hero stuff as well, so I just, I just don't have enough time to do that with real life and social life and going in and out of hospital and all the rest of it. So I'll just start streaming Let's Plays like um, my, uh, Super Mario RPG and then um, editing them into smaller episodes and then uploading them and that will be my Let's Play stuff. So I need to finish God of War so it's done uh, so we the next Let's Play thing I can start doing properly. So I need to make time to do that. So um, maybe we'll get through Super Mario RPG and then I'll focus on doing that so it's done and maybe do like some league here or there or something I don't know um, but yeah I really want to knock that knock that out and get it done it's pretty pretty big uh, priority for me I just haven't felt like it like I just haven't been in the mood to do it and I don't want to make videos that I'm not in the mood for because it's just going to be shit But I think, has anyone here played God of War, finished God of War? Without spoilers, please? I can't remember what quest we're on because it's been so long. Never played it? Okay. Um, yeah, I can't remember what quest we're on. But uh, I think, like, we've done a lot of the realms and we've done a lot of the side quest stuff. I can't imagine where that far off and I, like all the completionisty things like going around and finding all of the hidden rooms and killing all the valkyries and stuff like is good but i think i'm going to stop it stop doing all of that stuff uh and just do the story and maybe finish it there because uh yeah it's just like we've been doing it so long i don't know how many episodes of god of war there are it's like a shitload like 60 something maybe um so it's about time to end it and move on to something else before people, you know, get super bored of it because it's so long. It's a freaking awesome game though. Holy shit, it's so good. I've enjoyed pretty much every every second of it. There, there hasn't been... A, you know how sometimes in games there's just like a level or an area or something? You just, you're just like, ah, this is horrible. And a lot of the times it's like a sewer, <laughs> right? All the, always sewer levels suck. Um, so... Like in, in Dark Souls um, games, it's always like 
the bog areas that you can't move quickly and stuff. You're just like, oh, let's just get this done as quickly as you can because this is horrible. Um, and if you replay games, like like Secret of Mana, for instance, that I, I replay every year and stuff, there's always parts of those things where you're just like, oh, this game's so good, apart from this one little bit. Um, but God of War hasn't had that. Like, every part of it has been really good. I don't think we have that many. I think we got like 90 energy left. 97. So we got three more. And then we have natural regen of um, PvP trials expedition. We'll, we'll do that as well. And then we'll call it. Um, which probably, I don't know, take us to nearly. Uh, what? Like another 15 minutes or so? So it's like an hour and a half. It's pretty good. Apart from when we have like a super scroll and badges and stuff like we did for expedition that other day i think like most bit hero streams are going to be the one to one and a half hours because it's like with natural regen and stuff that's about how long it takes uh and it's probably a good time as well because you know the game does get a bit samey and stuff so i think like an hour to an hour and a half bit hero streams is, is a good time and i used to make 40 minute episodes uh, roughly on on youtube and everyone a lot of people not everyone was just like do longer vids do longer vids so you know double that is effectively an hour and a half so i think it kind of works for everybody <laughs> really pissed we didn't get a um duo bombs persuasion considering i've got like i said i've got them I can't remember if it was three. I, I'm going to say three because it sounds right in the last two days uh, on, you know, no capture rate really bonus or anything. And then you come in on the bonus day and get nothing. It's it's typical, isn't it? It's just absolutely typical. You could, you could put money on it that that was going to happen. <laughs> and then tomorrow, for instance, is what? PvP bonus? The most useless day of the whole thing, of the whole week? And then I'll get a persuasion on that day, 100%. Or I'll, I'll capture like a Nostudo or something on that day. With just, with no bonuses, no nothing. So the, the age old joke that you should do item find on Thursday and capture eight on Sunday and just imagine the bonuses are reversed seems to be the case. What did everybody, depending on where you are, what did everyone have for lunch or dinner or what did everyone eat today? Because I, it's like three quarters of an hour until lunchtime and I don't think there's any food in, in the fridge. So we're going to go have to go out and, and get food and I don't know what I want. So give me inspiration. What should I eat? Because I, I could eat. Uh, I need five Rexies, have been trying for four weeks, and have 28 all, so far, all fails. Yeah, that's rough. That sounds like, um, my, uh, Grimms, when I tried to get Grimms. It was horrible. I didn't count them, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was 40 plus, 50 plus, maybe. Um, my dad made rice with chicken and broccoli. That sounds really good. I like rice, I like chicken, I like broccoli. Was there, like, sauce and stuff? Eggs Benedict with bacon? I'm not a big egg dude, but that sounds like Camille's wet dream. She fucking loves eggs, Benedict. So yeah, she, she'd be down for that 100%. Ice coffee, you know me too well. Just give me all the ice coffee you have. I don't need food. <laughs> Just give me ice coffee. I'm done. You know I'm going to go get an ice coffee now. <laughs> that's, that's good. Ice coffee. I had soup because my... Oh yeah. I don't want to eat soup. I hate soup. Well... I don't know about hate. I don't like soup. I would eat anything else other than soup. Covered in cream of chicken soup. Okay, we're talking a lot about soup. But cream of chicken, rice, because that would all like absorb it and stuff. Rice, chicken soup with chicken. And, yeah, I'd eat that. That sounds pretty fucking good, actually. Um, I don't know if I'm going to come home and cook anything. I highly doubt it because I don't feel so great. So I'd probably just go down. There's a fish and chip place. Might get that. We were talking about fish and chips actually, yesterday, actually. Some people hate it and some people love it. I, I love fish and chips. It's freaking fantastic. Um, there's a bakery. Some might get like a some form of 
like roll or something. Although I, in the stream yesterday, I ate a roll, uh, like uh, for for lunch. I don't know, man. I don't know. I got the dentist as well, so maybe I should think about not eating something that's gonna get stuck in my teeth. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Thumbs down. I don't know. Fish and chips is fish and chips with a iced coffee. That's a big meal, though. If I'm gonna have an iced coffee, I should probably eat something smaller. Come on, come on, last one. You piece of shit. Absolute piece of shit. You green, slimy piece of shit. Okay, let's go back to... I'm fine. What would make all of this fails worth it is if I get the bow right now. That would be really good. Uh, always attack the top person, auto set and forget. PvP, so good. Uh, he's got good fams too. Doesn't make a difference. I could eat fresh bread for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, we'd be the fattest of bastards, but we'd be happy. Like, bre like brand new. 100%, like just coming out of the oven, fresh bread with butter and salt and stuff. Oh, it's like tasty as hell. Let's duel. Yeah, we can if you want. You'll, you'll absolutely freaking destroy me, but we can do it. Why not? Look at this. Getting freaking smashed. Trials sucks. Like, I just put 680 um, gauntlet, set and forget, and do it pretty much every time, or come back to it, uh, and like one of my dudes is dead. Res them, and then, um, you know, just complete it. There we go. We're dead. Good job. I should be targeting, like, the, the fans that are a pain in the ass, rather than just doing the hit all thing. Just seeing if there's a healing shrine, but there is not. Um, okay, left or right? I'm gonna go, is that a dead end? No, it's not. Is it? Yes, it is. Alright, left it is. Alright, cactus boy. How about you? Can I slip past it? You can't slip past it, but I'm gonna try. Go to the right. Go to the right. Down. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay. Let's have a heal. Did nothing. I'm gonna do this because it pecks the, uh, procs the healing pet. See, like, that was a bit of a heal. It also, you know, does damage to everybody, so it's like a two for one. Perfect! There we go, it's what we wanted. That it losing power heals. Just auto everything, save up some SP. Smashed it. That's why Walkham's good. And Wembo. You get the crit heals or the empower heals. It just fully heals your team. It's tasty. Okay, this hurts like a truck. Apart from when it doesn't. Um what does damage here? I think this guy does decent damage. War, get destroyed. Oh, <laughs> hit the dude with the lowest HP. Okay. Oops. Auto attack for SP. Okay. We can save that for the boss. Damn it, stop hitting the tank. Um, I'm gonna get rid of you. I think you hurt quite a bit. Good damage. Okay, so the boss should be in there, I think. Uh, there we go, one shot. That's what we're looking for. I think I might just auto this. Even though there's that SP shrine there, all these guys are fairly meh. Is this the boss? It's not? Okay, so get rid of these Melvins and then the next one should be the boss. We'll go back and get that shrine. Uh, one shot. No! Tank again, son of a bitch.
The orange dude was the boss? Uh... The orange dude was the boss? What orange dude? You talking about all the way back here? Oh shit, he was too! <laughs> I completely forgot that he was a boss. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's because I don't do those dungeons. Like, I do the dungeons to go through the flags, and then I never do them ever again. So I forget what the bosses look like. Uh, man, I keep waiting for you, waiting to, man, I keep wanting to get the wall dog schematic. It's not great. It's really not that great. All right, let's go with random hit on nothing. Perfect. Well, on basically nothing. Let's get rid of you. How many procs do you want? Okay, he's gone. That's, that's a whiff. We should have this. It's auto. Oh shit, that's not auto. Let's switch. Oh, wrong move. Okay, we got this. Hooray, nothing! Look, it's always burger to me. Burger. Never won't be. Just like Oxa is Oxler. And what's his name? I can't even think of the proper name. Aura or something? It's Sex Horse. They all have their names. Burger. Okay, is this the one? Oh, actually, what's my contribution like these days? Am I still fourth? I'm still fourth. That's hilarious. Uh, look at this Kino. Look at him. Oh yeah, do you want a duel? Let's duel now before I forget. Uh, duel. You must reconnect. Oh, look at this. Make me eat, re... Au revoir. Oh, 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 au revoir. Sex horse. 100% sex horse. That's the thing. The whole community could should call him sex horse. You're in an expedition. Give you a minute. Jesus. All right. Well, you you request when you get out, I guess. All the bounties are done. Have we done fishing today? We have. Okay. Actually, is there a new fishing event? No, nope, there's not. We're in a rank. It's good enough. What's in the shop? A spectronium orb. That oh, shit. That's really good for twenty bucks, isn't it? 500 gems, a bob gore, and then all this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good for 20 bucks. How much does just 500 gems cost? Five bucks. Yeah, it's, that's totally worth it if you if you pay. I assume that's what most people buy, like these type of things with bob gore and like the other stuff. No, oh, how many, how many? Oh, never mind. I need to not auto. Oh, two plus fives and a plus five Remoraid. Oh, I'm gonna get destroyed. <sighs> okay, random. Big hits. Look at that. Huge hits. Okay, let's take him out. Nice. Oh, Remoid's plus one. Well, he's plus nothing now. Oh, the whiffs. So many whiffs. Stupid Bobby Dominic's evade. Alright, hit something good. Yeah! <laughs> and get, it, get rid of him. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And... Oh, I don't have to hit random. Dude, dude, you know what? I think I got this. Oh, the 
dual strike. Auto. <laughs> Finish him off with auto. Just bad manners. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay. Expedition. I guess like Gummy's really good and Fatty's really good and they're like procs of like hitting the weakest and, and shielding and stuff is really good. So like every time you hit Fatty, he's got like a fairly decent chance of hitting your weakest back for like a bit of damage. Uh, and also I have... Uh, oh no, I don't have that much more TS. I'm not too sure how I won that to be honest. 2 plus 5 uh, Walkums is pretty brutal. Yeah, fattying up, they're, they're not stable or anything, but they're really good. I, I like them a lot. So, a plus five fatty with, um, is it ricochet or redirect or what? No, not redirect. The one where you hit them back. His, his stat, whatever that is. Let's have a look at him. This one. 18% deflect, uh, deflect chance, that's the one. So, like, if someone hits him and he deflects it, like they take that damage back and then he has a 60% chance to attack the weakest enemy as well. So every time you hit him, he's got a more than um, half, like more than 50% chance, aka 60%, more than half the time you hit him, um, he smacks your weak, your weakest dude, your lowest HP dude, it's pretty good. And then Gummy has 15% absorb chance and a 60% chance to um, shield, he has no augments on. Um, so yeah, they're pretty good, I like them a lot, actually. Uh, I critted him and he deflected it back and killed my Walkum. Yeah, it's good shit. So I assume there's redirect, um, sorry, not redirect, deflect, um, augments and stuff where you can just like get him up to like 30% deflect or something. That would be freaking amazing. He has low stamina though. He's like a bait, effectively, like a bait familiar. But yeah, I like him a lot. So plus fiving him would be cool for PvP and stuff. But getting a tank in the healer is the main thing, right? Gummy for president. I was considering using Gummy as my main tank as well. Because uh, he's got like good good HP and the whole 60% to shield people thing, which is pretty good. Um, but I'm already plus two, almost plus three through Bobadom, so it's like I'm already halfway. I may as well just finish it off. Still no mount? What mount? You've got a mount? What are you talking about? Oh, speaking of mounts, actually, we'll, we'll quickly have a chat about that before we finish. Oh, right, 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 right. Cosmetic mount, gotcha. Next run, Mythic. <laughs> yeah, the next run when I'm off off camera, hundred percent. Um, twin bit, that that's the yeah yeah yeah. That's the flying um wasp looking thing. I already got this the mount from this dungeon uh, expedition, whatever it is, last time. So I don't have the the thrill of trying to get a cosmetic mount effectively. But speaking of mounts in general, I have my max mount here. He's got dual strike on him. Uh, pretty much never going to replace him effectively. He doesn't have the best stats like for DPS, but you change his stats around with reforging and stuff. So it's not that big of a deal, really. Um, and for free to play, that I'm not going to uh, get a bunch of mount guts and stuff. Who cares? But, speaking of Mount Guts, I have quite a few. Where are they? Did I go past them already? I think I may have gone past them already. I did. It's an easy way to do this. I have 5.7k. Which is a lot. Um, and to get one, I think is a thousand, is it not? Is it in here? It's in here, isn't it? Trade. Uh, 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 uh. uh, a thousand. So I could summon five, almost six, new legendary mounts. Uh, I could summon a absolute crapload of, of these, even more crapload of these, and even more crapload of these. So I was thinking, because I basically got the mount with dual strike and stuff, that's all I really care about. I'm not too fussed about his skill. Like ultimately I would want the Zardox and all the rest of it, but I'm not gonna spend gems and da 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 da. So I got 4% dual strike, you know, that's that's happy enough. Um, but maybe I should just buy all the gems to get all the different, um, cause I never bought an epic one. I just went straight from rare to legendary. 
But maybe I should buy each each one to get all the cosmetics. Because the Mount Gutch is just sitting there doing absolutely jack diddly buggers. May as well use them. Uh, yeah, so I bought... Um, let's go back in here. I bought one common. I got the chicken one, which is good. I bought a rare. And then I don't know whether I got a rare from... I don't know where I got the other one from. Well, all three of them. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Maybe I just summoned three. I don't know. Completely skipped the um, epics and then went straight for legendary and got him and I'm done. So since then, which is when all mounts came out and stuff, uh, I've just kept all the mount guts and never used them. So just accumulated them over time. Got 5.7k. Uh, saved them. I bet in tier 11 they will make new mounts. Yeah, probably. I mean, these ones... Do I have enough for a stat point as well? Where's the stat point? Where is it? Where is it? Have I gone past it? There it is. No, I do not. Um, these ones are super cheap, like 10. You know, just do a few of them until I get the cosmetics. Do a few of these to get cosmetics. Maybe a few of these to get cosmetics. And then just save the rest. So I might get down to like, I don't know, 4, 4k or something. I still got heaps. Anyway, that's irrelevant. That is it for Thursday, not capture day. Um, we will come back for, I don't know, maybe we'll come back on Monday and do Monday, not capture day. Um, hopefully capture day. Instead of Sunday, I'll have a think about it and uh, we'll, we'll see into that. And then we'll also do Super Mario RPG, hopefully tomorrow morning. Um, and then that will be all the future streams. And then once we get Super Mario RPG done, we'll probably do some League. So, Ideally, Super Mario RPG tomorrow morning, finish that off, then Monday we'll do, um, we'll do Monday Capture 8, and then maybe like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, we'll do some League. So that, that's the ideal situation, I think. Let's, let's try that. And, and Big Blast, Big Bass, Black Bass, Bullshit Bass Fishing as well. Either way, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. If you like this video, click here to see another one just like it. If you're new to the channel and like what I'm doing, click here to subscribe and become the newest member of the Chicken Coop. If you really like what I'm doing, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description, where you can help support me and help the channel grow. You'll also find a link to the channel's Discord server where you can chat with me and other members of the Chicken Coop. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.